2006, the fuel prices shot through the roof. It was almost five dollars a gallon. So this guy, Andrew, was on the internet one night and he came up with a, 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 a plan to a make a foolproof scheme. Yes, on how Cut to make fuel costs. It was a small tank, so it was a little conversion. Whatever you collected for waste vegetable oil, you could run through this little thing. So he says, hey, uh, we're going to buy this, and we're going to make our own fuel. Right. We pretty much almost blew up every piece of equipment we had through experimentation. Secret technology. Secret technology. This is, uh, this is uh, our own design. Then we have local friends in the area. Somebody had some local restaurants, and they said, yeah, we'll give you your oil. We ended up getting about two, 300 gallons a week. Then we got to the point where we had a surplus of oil. We couldn't use it. We didn't know what to do with it. So I, t I talked to a friend of mine over in Falmouth who owns a lot of fuel. They came over and took a look at it, and did some tests on it, and said, this is good stuff. And at the time, the $3.50 a gallon, and we were sitting on 300 gallons of it, and I said, why don't we just go get more of this? And that's how it started. And that's how it started. And the snowball began. <laughs> oh, did they get it this morning? Well, it has a... Uh, might be some on the screen here. Basically what happens there is we put the oil in this big tank, which uh, we heat up to about 160, 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And then from this tank, it goes into our processor. We bring in 240 gallons of methanol and mix it with potassium hydroxide. The process of making the biodiesel starts. The biodiesel will settle to the top, the glycerin settles to the bottom. We'll pump the glycerin out into the glycerin tank. And then from this processor, it goes into a wash tank where we spray water over the top of the biodiesel to clean the fuel. And once the fuel has been cleaned, we drain the water out and we dry the fuel. When the fuel is dried, we send it through the filters over there and then into the finished tank and out to the consumer. Um, this is what, in our uh, receptacles that we place behind the restaurants, this is what the product looks like. When it comes to this plant and we heat it up, we're able to take the oil off the top water and the food particular fall to the bottom. Then it goes through our process and that's the end product. All the oil that we produce out of here goes back into everybody's home heating. Stay local, help the local economy. Mm -hmm. that, that's our big thing. That's why we started. Right now we could run about 2,400 gallons a day. Um, with a new system we can probably do 4,800 gallons. But we have to get all the restaurants on the Cape to oh. be with us. That's our goal. And as you can see, we try to eat as much as we can. <laughs> <laughs>